your giving and their wishing, hoping, and praying they were, but never could. Why don't they just be themselves for once? Your haters could never. Anyone trying to be like you is wishing, hoping, and praying. You being yourself is giving something that they can't find. You being yourself is giving confidence. You being yourself is giving confidence. You know, you are given. You're given so many things. Confidence, godfidence. All right. You feel highly about yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong about feeling good about who you are. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to feel good about who you are. They're not supposed to feel good about trying to be like you. Where do they get off doing that? They couldn't be like you if they tried. The best thing for them to do is go off and be themselves. Now, you don't have to be anybody else. You don't have the need to be anyone that you're not. All you have the need to do is to be just like you. That's it. You don't want to go off and try to pretend that you're someone else. What good would that do you? That wouldn't do you any good at all, would it? When you really analyze the stench, it really makes a lot of sense. Because you're giving, you know, you're you're giving peace. You are giving peace. You are giving, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me alone. Don't start nothing, won't be done. Uh, You are giving that you're really interesting person that's about their business that's holding it down for themselves that wants to be something wants to do something with their life and not only do you want to be something or do something you're actually doing it doesn't matter how other people look at you don't go comparing yourself to other people because if you do you'll be tearing yourself down not knowing another situation, trying to make sense out of your own situation with somebody else's life. And that that is an awful thing to do to yourself unless you're looking at it from a positive point of view. Don't tear yourself down. Build yourself up. Don't strengthen your weaknesses. Strengthen your strengths. All right? That way you'll be given a different kind of, of person. You'll be giving a person with the right attitude. You'll be given a person who feels great about who they are. You'll be given a person that's not going to allow somebody else's thoughts about them overpower the thoughts of their own. So keep giving positivity. People feel it when they're around you. They like that version of you. I know it may be tough and difficult, You may have to work on yourself so that way you can stay that positive person because there are people who like you for being that positive person. And then there are those who are hoping, wishing, and praying they were but could never. All right, they could never be positive like you. The fact that they try is super cringy. You ever saw someone try to be like you in real time? Trigger, please. Trigger, please. You ever seen somebody try to be like you in real time? Hey, good morning, Mr. So-and-so. How you doing today? Good, Drew. How are you? I'm all right. Never better. I'll see you around. Okay. Okay, Drew. And then here comes the imitator. Oh, hi. Good morning. Yes. Let me get the door for you. How are you today? Just, Just throwing it on too deep. It's not, it's never that serious. It is never that serious. It ain't never that serious. It's okay to be yourself. 
You don't have to try to pretend to be something that you're not. You don't have to go off and pretend to be somebody else. There were plenty of people that I was uh, intrigued by. There are plenty of people that I, 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 I was fascinated by. Plenty of people that, you know, that I thought were cool. And even though they weren't the best to me, I, could, I, I did my best to appreciate the type of person that they were. Still be able to learn things from people. They just weren't my cup of tea. Did I have to go step on any shoes or, I mean, step on any toes? No. I'm a sneakerhead. I, I definitely won't be stepping on anybody's shoes. I love I love me some sneakers. You know, I love me I love me uh, love me a good shoe. I appreciate I appreciate a good Jordan. I probably buy a book before I buy one of those, but you know a pair of those. But you know, hey, you watching this video, send me some Jordans or a book. It's up to you. Um, you're giving, and they're wishing, hoping, and praying. All right, you know, they are wishing, hoping, and praying that they could be like you. Instead of recognizing what 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 that their wishes and are already answered, if they would just be themselves, all their hopes are not in vain. They're not hopeless. They're they're just broke in the realm of they're broke in the realm of originality. They don't realize that they're rich. A broke person is a person that just doesn't realize they're rich. And you're rich. I need you to write that down. I need you to say that to yourself every day. I need you to believe that. I need you to trust that. I need you to know that. You're rich. You're powerful. You're wealthy. You're giving and they're wishing. They see that you have a, a youthful spirit. They see that you are tapped in to the ever flowing energy of life. And you're, you're giving that. You're giving universal soul child. All right. You heard a music soul child. You give universal soul child. All right, you're, you're giving so much and they just taking everything. They just, just taking, 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 not giving anything back, not giving anything in return, not even a salute, not even a, a, a appreciation, a conversation of appreciation, you know, not, not even just, just chopping it up with you and just, just showing some love, learning from you, studying you, you know, picking up on game from you. That's, it's wild. But they want to be just like you, but have disdain for you at the same time. All right. That's why they're wishing, hoping and praying. God doesn't bless haters. God doesn't bless those who steal. All right. You have you have if you take pay homage, if you take acknowledge who the source is, give thanks. All right. Send somebody a donation. Send somebody some money. I done sent plenty of donations out. All right. Some of them even came back to me, which is wild. I'm like, who doesn't want money? I'm like, my money's good. Do you know? Sheesh. But, you know, I, um, maybe it was the wrong cash app. Maybe they need to change it. But I, I sent a donation to some people to show my appreciation, you know, and show my support. You know, that's why that's why I'm giving my, you know, my giving is giving, giving. What? Your giving is giving, giving. All right, you are giving a giving person. You're a giving person. You like to give more than you receive. That's why you're truly wealthy. True wealth is being able to give more than you receive, which manifests itself in monetarily in funds and paper money. But first, you have to be rich with joy. You have to be rich with health, with peace, with, with self-love, with satisfaction, for how you feel about yourself as a as a person, oh, that's true. Being truly rich, so you're you're given wealth. You're you're given. I love me. All right, everybody, put that in the comment section. I love me. Tell yourself that every day. Look in the mirror. Look in your eyes. Look in each eye. Say, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you five times in each eye. 
All right, write that down. Look in the mirror every morning and look into your eye and say, I love you, 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 I love you. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself. Give yourself a hug if you have to. But you're giving and they are wishing. They wish that they could be like you. They're hoping they could be like you. Praying they could be just like you. All right. And you probably see them dressing like you, copying your style, wearing their hair like you. Fellas, you probably see them getting the same haircut. You know, just like, you know, how you be getting that little fade on the side. Everybody at your job now got that little fade on the side. And it's for vanity. You know, you might get some attention from the ladies, fellas. And a lot of fellas, a lot of other fellas see the ladies showing you attention. So what they're going to want to do is recreate that energy, recreate that style. But they could never. They have to go do their own thing. A lot of people try to recreate what they see other people do because they want the same effect. Whether it's a female, whether it's at, at work and it's with management, all right? Whether it's just out in the world. And they just want the same amount of praise or same amount of uh, acknowledgement or courtesy or love shown to them. People are going to look at them in a, in a way that is, is cringy. You know, like people are going to low key be looking at this person like you're doing the most. You're doing too much. Tone it down, Tony. They're going to start calling you tone it down, Tony. Shout out to Tony because Tony got it toned down. Everybody want to be like tone it down, Tony. Tony toned it down. So they're going to they gonna say, hey, tone it down, Tony. You know, they, they, they're they trying they trying to show you, uh, hit you with some hints. Hey, tone it down a bit, sir. But you're giving and they're wishing. This is for the ladies, too. This is for the ladies. You're giving and they're wishing. They wish they could be like y'all. All right? All the people with a good heart. That's why they're trying to attack that heart and make it a bad one. See, you have a good heart. They want to attack that heart, make your blood boil, and turn you into a bad person. Because they sense that, oh, this person's a good person. They can't be that. You're giving, I am a good person. They have to try to fake and be a good person. Like the most cringiest thing is someone that is just not being real. And just treating people right. You don't have to try to be a good anything. All you got to do is just abide by the golden rule. You be, treat people how you want to be treated. Plain and simple. That's a universal law. Treat others the way you want to be treated. That is a universal law. And I see, I see people break it on the daily. You know, I, I, I see people break it on the daily. And that's not good. That's not cool. So you keep on giving that you're a good person. You, you keep on giving people what you want to get back, right? Keep on giving what you want to get back. Keep on giving positive vibes to people. Keep on keep on giving an upright upright citizen, upright person. It's okay to be a good person. You 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 giving I am a good person. All right, they may call you sir. All right, don't don't you feel some type of ways. Nothing wrong with being called sir or or ma'am. They may treat you like you're proper. You know, a lot of people that are low vibrational and sometimes it's respect, but it just it, even when you get the respect, it still kind of gives you like a weird vibe because there are a lot of, of degenerates who will condemn you for being a good person or right, they'll condemn you for doing what's right. Like, oh, OK, who's this person? Like, you know, that you know how they are. They feel some type of way towards you because they can't sense that evil in you. They can't sense an empty spirit. You know, oh, this one's full. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be. God made, I was made whole through the power of God. I'm supposed to be full. I'm supposed to be whole. God said he was going to make me whole. God's not a liar. All right, yo, put it in the comments. God is not a liar. All right, so, yo, keep on giving and let them keep on wishing. All right, let them keep on let them keep on wishing because their wish is, you know, is, is never going to come true. They have to be who they are. They can dress like you. 
but they still have to be themselves. All right, they could try to walk like you, talk like you. Some of these people even have your walk down. You seen NBA Young Boy and his crew, and I ain't mad at them because it's all love. But I'm just using them as an example. The people that are around NBA Young Boy try they they act like him because they 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 don't know how to be themselves. And I mean, it could just be the love that they have for him because being where they're from. They see him as a, a superhero. You know, he's 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 deified. He's viewed as a Christ-like figure. You may not want to accept it or view it that way, but when people are held to a high esteem like that, it's it's a, a process of deification that's taking place, whether you want to accept it or not. It's a process of deification taking place. So certain people are deified through their acts, deeds, what they do on this earth. So it's like you'll see. NBA young boys crew dressing like him, walking like him, talking like them, talking like him, because they that they, they're um, people are uncomfortable with being themselves. And the person that's usually the coolest, quote unquote, you let other people tell it. It's the it's the people like a person that could be themselves. That's one way to be cool is by being yourself. You don't have to be how anybody else is. You don't have to be anybody else's level of cool. You know, some people are cool because of who they are and where they're from and how they talk. It's like everybody who goes to California, you know, people can't a lot of a lot of people don't know how to go to California and be themselves. A lot of you know, a lot of people wish they were given, but there's they're hoping, wishing and praying. You're not giving California. You given where you came from, you know, be, be you. People want to go to California and gang bang. People want to go to California and forget who they were and become a Californian. Start talking like this, Lo. You know? Yeah, what, what up? What up? Start talking like this, Lo. You know? They want to start talking like that. And I know that was a horrible impression, but that's what they want to do. You know? It's like they can't just go to California and not gangbang. Not want to be a blood. Not want to be a crip. They can't just go to California. And it's nothing. Yo, shout out to the bloods and crips. All right? I, I heard we piecing everything up, you know? Unity! All right. Um, that was the Rick James off Dave Chappelle. He's like, Unity. Oh, no, that was Prince. All right. Uh, I believe that was shirts versus skins. Or, no, shirts versus blouses. All right. You know, Prince was a very uh, fancy guy, but he wasn't that fancy. All right. Um, all right. People want to, people, people want to be somebody else. All right. They, they get around other people. They're uncomfortable with being who they are. Because they're not given that confidence. They're not given that confidence. They're not given that I love myself. All right. I, I, it, 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 I, I would cringe if I had to pretend to be somebody other than who I was. I would cringe if I couldn't just be me. I would cringe if I had to, to go somewhere and to. Uh oh. <laughs> I would cringe if I had to go somewhere. And be something that forgot about something I had to do. Anyway, uh, I'll have to get to that after this video. Um, it's like people just are uncomfortable being themselves. People will get to California. People will change their whole swag up, change their whole style up. It's nothing, you know, you might want to dress like the people where you're from. You might like their style, but, you know, keep it original. Still do some things that you like to do. All right. Don't don't, you know, become a carbon copy. Don't go don't go out to California and talk like them and try to walk like them and try to sound like them and and think you need to be a blood or a crip or gang bang. You know, like you could just be you. A lot of people lose their life like that, you know, going out there thinking they could politic with them brothers out there. And, and thinking they could be down and, and, and hang out and cool out like bro you not from there they don't know you you don't know them you better stop going to areas and trying to assimilate yourself and thinking it's all good because you're famous or you're successful or you know you want to be down brandy want to be down you know shout out to uh i think man this is taking it back i think um I forget that man's name. Hollow Man. Shout out to all the 215 freestylers. All right, shout out to Hollow, Hollow Man. Hollow Man said that, I believe. I believe that was Hollow Man or it was somebody freestyling. You know, I don't think Reed said that one. But yeah, I just took it back. All right. Um, anyway, 
Let's take it back to the present moment. Just be yourself. All right, people want to get around other people. It's like somebody trying to act some, act, trying to go someplace and act like they're something that they're not. You know, like people, people were amazed that when I went to new places and that when I got around some new faces, how real I could be and just be myself. It seemed like everybody had, not everybody, but it seemed like most people, when they get around other people that they don't know, they have to put on a facade or they have to try to pretend and get people to view them a certain way or look at them a certain way. And I understand because people don't want to be, um, people don't want people messing with them, but you know. You gotta let people think whatever they want and just not let them mess with you anyway. And you can you can still be. You can be what you wanna be. You can do what you wanna do. In living color. Like you can be what you wanna be and do what you wanna do. Don't allow others to determine how you choose to live your life and who you choose to be. Don't allow people to have that power over you. All right, you're giving and they're wishing. They're wishing that they could be themselves. They're wishing they had enough confidence to be like you. All right, and they only want to be like you because they see how comfortable you are with yourself. This isn't an ego thing. They don't want to be you because you're you. Some of some of y'all maybe. Some of y'all may be so fly, they might want to take off your skin and wear it. All right, but you know, you know, some of us they just appreciate either your confidence. They appreciate the way that you communicate. They appreciate the, your style, the way that you dress, the way you always keep your car clean. All right, there's different things that you know people appreciate about others. But like what you give, they can't buy. All right, they they'll try to they'll try to recreate it. They'll try to go look for it in a store. Well, he had this jacket on. Let me go buy that. Like no jacket is gonna give this to them. No pair of shoes is gonna give this to them. No clothing out, out uh, clothing article, no article of clothing is going to give this to them. No car is going to give it to them. You know, they may feel good and everybody feels good when they get possessions. But the thing is, if you don't, if, how you going to win if you ain't right within? If you don't feel good about yourself, it's not going to matter. If you don't feel good about who you are, it's not going to matter. You can get as fly as you want, but you, if you hate yourself, you're just a fly person in some clothes full of hate. You know, if, if you have a problem with who you are, you're just a person that isn't keeping it real with themselves and they're trying to hide it and cover it up with material items. And that's what that's what this matrix want. They want you to need the new Jordans to feel confident when you can feel confident in a pair of shack shoes and keep your money and go buy some books. Let me say that again. For my people, all right, they want you to feel confident in a pair of Jordans, not knowing you can feel confident in a pair of $20 shoes and save the rest of that money and go buy some books or go get you a, uh, go get, go get you a, a new bank account or go open you a credit union. You know, you could go invest in your future. Unless, unless you collect sneakers, I really wouldn't be buying them. The only reason why I would buy sneakers is because I collect them and because I like them. And I know that's why other people buy them too. But if you buy them for confidence, if you buy them for, to feel better about who you are, if you buy them because you 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 know you think people will like you better. Don't don't play yourself like that. You can keep your money and you can you can arm yourself with some information and people. You want people to like you? Provide something. Don't have people like you just because of how you look appearance wise have have people want you around because of what you know have people want you around because of the service you provide have people want you around because of how you can help them and and they could return help you financially see you're, you're giving business you're giving authentic you're giving you don't give up about others what they think like like the type of style that you have, it not a lot of people are going to be able to comprehend it. You just have to accept that. Not a lot of people are going to be able to comprehend who you are. Or you're given mystery. You're a very mysterious person. A lot of people want to figure you out. A lot of people want to learn more about you. You, you, you see people studying you, trying to, to get your style down packed to a science, trying to get it just right. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as as long as they um you know as long as it, it it doesn't get out of hand as long as it's not meant to compete all right as long as they're just 
seeing it for what it is, like, yo, this is some good game right here. Let me take it and apply it to my life. That's what it's all about, taking things and applying it to your life, not trying to be someone else, not not allowing it to, to make you steal, not allowing it to make you not be original. And, you know, I know great artists steal, and I know everyone takes things from everyone and people learn from everybody and things get recycled. But still has to be some level of originality, because if not, you're just going to be doing what somebody else did. And that's cringy. And hey, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it. But it's just not what you want to do. It's not how you want to go out. You don't want to go out like that. All right. You don't want to go out like that, homeboy. You don't want to go out like that, homegirl. You're better than that. You're more creative than that. The same thing that you see in another person, you can easily and equally find it in yourself. You don't have to be like nobody else. Let them have their hairstyle. Let them have their dress. Let their wear of clothes, their style. And when I say their dress, I mean like outfit. I don't actually mean a dress dress. All right. Cat, you know, team Cat Williams, baby. So you're giving and they're wishing. Let them let them keep wishing. They're wishing on a dream to find out what it means. They're wishing on a dream, trying to find out what it means. But they don't but they don't know. All right, and, and, and by the looks of it, they may never find out. That's why some people keep coming back and becoming reincarnated because they don't end up living their life as fully as they would have if they found that confidence in taking a risk and taking a chance and not being afraid to be laughed at and just going to be themselves. And truly, that's what it is. People are afraid to try new things. People are afraid to think outside the box. People are afraid of what somebody else is going to say for daring to be different. You know what? I'm, I'm going to wear this type of shoe. Everybody's got these shoes on. I'm aware. I'm going to wear this. Everybody's got this shirt on. I'm going to wear that. Everybody's got this, this style of uh, pants on. I'm going to wear that. Like people who are chosen, we go against the grain. We don't do what everybody else does. What other people are doing, we shy away from. We want to do the exact opposite. We see everybody running over there. We're going to run over, We're going to run this way. And, and see what's back that way. As long as it ain't nothing that they're running away from. You know, sometimes you need to run with where everybody else is going because you don't want to get your, your your butt left behind. All right, you see people running away and it look like there's a fire over there. Don't go, don't go check that out. You know, you don't go check that out. You know, you play with fire, you get burnt. You know, you play with being original, you get money. Everybody that's original, everybody that's able to find their own style and be unique, they, they, it always ends up making a way for them to get paid. Let me say that again. Everybody who can be unique, everybody who can do their own thing, create their own style, it always results in a way of them getting paid. It always results and manifests monetarily in the form of a bigger bag because nobody's doing it like you. It's never been done before like that. As far as you're concerned in the time you're living in, nothing new under the sun. You're just the, the one to bring it back. You're the one to discover it. You're the one to recreate it. And that's fly. You got to give thanks and be grateful for the fact that you were chosen to be the one to usher in, re-usher in this level of greatness that they see that you're given. That's got them wishing, hoping, praying they were you, but never could. All right. Why don't they just go be themselves for once? Is it, it's not that hard to go be yourself. All you have to do is be true to yourself. Find things about you that stand out. Find things about you that you like yourself, that you like about yourself. This is why being alone is important. This is why spending time by yourself is extremely important. Because you need that alone time to find yourself. You need that alone time to usher in those positive thoughts about who you are. You need that alone time to process how you feel about yourself. And to come up with good ideas and to get get downloads, to get ideas from God, you know, to, to get your to get what's rightfully yours from the universe, to, to, to gain access to your divine inheritance. And you're only going to do it by being true to yourself and by being yourself and by being original. Because being somebody else isn't you. It doesn't suit you well. Trying to be them, it doesn't suit you well. You see them trying to be you. Let them do them. Let them find themselves. 
hope that they find themselves. But that's the only thing that hope is going to do for them. So you keep giving and you let them keep wishing. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button. Smash the share button. And you know, I'll see you in the next one. We out.